Hi guys, welcome to this Smart IoT Home project. This is something that I've done over the weekend, something I've been wanting to do for a long, long time. So what we have here is a shoebox that has been segmented into different rooms with respective light bulbs for each room. So it's a little model. Uh, we also have a fan, a DHT11 temperature and humidity sensor. We also have a smartphone. It could be Android or iPhone. And it has the Blink app, which is connected to the IoT cloud. And this is the house or the model shoebox. Uh, I've cut an opening here so we can access all the wires. We also have a barrel connector for the battery. You can also plug it to the um, AC adapter. And uh, if I tilt it, oh yeah, you'll also notice as well, we have a WS2812 um, ARGB strip right here, five volt that is. And you can see we've got a few connecting blocks to connect all the uh, lights, which have built-in resistors. I believe it's 220 ohm for each one. And inside here, I'm not gonna zoom in. We have a Node MCU microcontroller with a uh, motor shield, uh, spe a specific Node MCU motor shield. As a matter of fact, if you check out this Frixing diagram, this is how I have connected everything specifically. So do take a look at that. This is how it's all been done. And if you want the code, you can uh, download the code in the description. But at this moment, because this is not a full step-by-step uh, -step tutorial, please use it at your own discretion. Let's uh, have a little showcase, shall we? So what I'll do Let's, I'm going to just tilt it like that. And I'm going to connect the battery on the end. Okay, so we're gonna connect that. It's already switched on. And uh, let's uh, give this a try. So what I'll do first, I'm going to switch off all the lights in the room. And uh, so that is connected. Okay, we are connected with the app and we have a few buttons that we can push. It's got the temperature reading as 28.5 degrees. The humidity is 53. And we can put on the kitchen light, the bedroom light, the living room light, and the bathroom light. And we can toggle the lights as we see fit. Very similar to the videos that I've created over the years on my YouTube channel except this is using Wi-Fi, this is not Bluetooth, and it's a Node MCU chip. All right. All right, if you focus on the phone, one thing I have developed is an automated uh, temperature, let's say with the fan. So what happens is if the temperature reaches a certain level, it will automatically turn the fan on. Right now, it's off. So what I do is um, if I turn this on, Right now, this will only activate if it's 30 degrees. And right now it's 28.7. So if I wanted to, if I could bring that down to 20, oops, sorry, let's do that again. I could bring this down to 28 degrees or 27 degrees. The fan is actually on. So let's just put the light on. The fan is on. So let's say we make that 30 degrees. Okay, it will automatically turn the fan off. And it will have the status as the fan being off. The fan is on and this will not run unless the automatic fan system button is on. So right now it says the fan system is disabled. So that fan will not run regardless of what temperature you put here to activate. Okay, now let's uh, turn the lights back off again. So if you just want to see, I'll just show you. All right, so this is the Blink app. So I've spent a considerable amount of time putting all these buttons together. And uh, let's just take a look. Now, if I could just try to get this all in the same shot, that would be good. Okay, so watch the LED strip. If I wanted to have red light, okay, we've got some red light. All we have to do is adjust the slider. And the further to the right that you adjust it, the brighter it becomes. So we've got red light got green light and we also have blue light. You can mix the colors. This took me a while to do. So say if you mix red and green RGB light, you get yellow. You can have different intensity levels of light. If you put them all on, you have a white light. OK, 
Okay, if you have red and blue but no green, you have purple. Okay, just like that. And let's say if you switch on a couple of lights in the bedrooms, you might have the fan system on. If you want to reset the whole thing without resetting the board, all you have to do is press the reset all button and it resets everything back to the uh, default settings, if you will. So yeah, this was uh, something that took me a whole weekend to do, but I do say it's well worth the time and well worth the effort. And perhaps in the future, I will make a tutorial for this. So there we go. Again, uh, you can have a look at the Frixing diagram, download the code and try to work it out at your own discretion for now. And we'll see you again soon. So thank you so much for watching and goodbye.